to attempt to link uh, one's choice of Bible translation, to attempt to link the choice of Bible translation in the New International Version to, and try to make a direct correlation between that translation and pornography is nuts. Um, it's, it's, it's actually laughable. Um, lady, I, I, I try to say this respectfully, I don't know who you are, but it's not, whatever you're spewing is not scholarship. I mean, who, who, who's your favorite pastor? Like, Gail Ripplinger? Or some nonsense like that? I mean, I have a question. How many, I'd be interested in knowing, how many people that are addicted to pornography use the King James Bible? Well, if, if King James is really, really popular, and, 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 you know, a lot of people use it, and they all, a lot of people also look at porn, you know, what are you trying to get at? I mean, on, I, I use the ESV as my Bible translation. So where does that put me? I also use the NIV. So where does that put me? It's irrelevant. Okay, for people that are watching this video, maybe they found my channel. They're like, "What is this guy talking about?" Uh, the lady who I'm responding to, who I'm sending this response to, uh, she claimed that you know Robert Murdoch owns the rights to the NIV Bible. No, I can't say anything about that. Um, I haven't looked it up myself, but that's not my point. Her point is, she she says, "Well, I'm just curious to know how many people that are addicted to pornography use the NIV Bible." Um, it seems like that's a logical fallacy to try to make a correlation uh, between between those two things. Um, certainly, the NIV is not the most accurate Bible translation. It's just not. It's not a bad translation. Um, it's a heck of a lot better than you know paraphrases like the Message. It's better than the New Living. It's better than the Contemporary English. Um, but it's not as good as the English Standard Version. I would even say it's probably not as accurate as the Holman Christian Bible. Um, it's not as accurate as, uh, as the New American Standard. And I would even put the New King James above the NIV in level of accuracy. Now, in readability, NIV is, it's, it's fine. It's good. It's better than the TNIV, in my opinion. TNIV kind of mangles some translation, but that's, really not here nor there at this point but to try to correlate those who are addicted to pornography to those who read the NIV Bible what are the statistics of people that use the King James and look at pornography do, do those matter if if more if it's found if it were to be found that more people you know, the people who are addicted to pornography are more likely to read the King James than the NIV. What does that prove? It doesn't really prove anything. It proves that no matter what someone's choice of Bible translation is, it proves that oh, we're all sinners. We're all condemned by our sin and by our first parents. It proves that we are all need, in need of a perfect Savior, and Jesus Christ is that perfect Savior, who bled on the cross of Calvary, yes, even for the sin of addiction to pornography. So, is there a correlation? Do most people who look at porn read the NIV? Neither here nor there. It's like blaming, you know, that's like saying, well, a lot of people who look at porn uh, drink water. They all drink water at some point. Is that the water's fault? Is there something in the water that inherently makes people look at porn? Or, or 
apple juice? You know... <laughs> the video is ridiculous. Um, if Whatever you're spewing, it's not scholarship. Um, again, I don't know if you're King James only as, but the amount of contempt that you seem to have for the New, New International Version as a Bible translation seems to stem from um, a King James only perspective. So, yeah. But again, whether or not, you know, the, the person who looks at porn and the person who doesn't look at porn and reads the NIV has... Has, has this thing in common with each other. Uh, they're all sinners, and they're all in need of a perfect, perfect Savior. And they all receive forgiveness through repentance and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ.